All right, so guys, after once we get this seated all the way down to the bottom, you know, this piece in here, see it all the way down to the bottom here. This is actually where our diaphragm sits. It sits right on there nice and plush. As you can see all the way around. That's where it sits. And my first prototype at this piece. This is a little bit, you know, big. It's not square cut. I didn't have the fucking chop box. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it happens. But these new new pieces, square. Nice and square. These sit in here. Now, when that sits in there, nice and square. Right? Get that nice drum sound to it. And then these screws on the side, actually, what I did here is just took a drill bit that was a little bit smaller than these screws and drilled them straight straight through. Actually, what you want to do if you really want to get this real good you just take this, take a clamp on, on the front side, the back side with a clamp, and get it seated real nice. So this piece of PVC and the half inch PVC in between the diaphragm is real tight. You want to get that as tight as you possibly can. If you clamp that, then take your drill bit, run your drill bit through, and all this is is a little machine screw. I can't remember actually what size it is, but you drill a hole through when it's clamped, and then run this screw through, and then the screw will lock down your uh, your back piece with this piece, and then it won't move, and then you're good to go right there. So that covers that. Okay. So then the next thing you want to do is is on your two by three pieces. As you see, I got a lot of guys run these through through. Uh, can remember right they run them through here which is way too much drilling way too much to go through it's so much easier if you run through this 45 degree angle part which all it is to step it again drill it out force thread this little nipple in here and then that's it and you any, can see any type of sealer with that nope just, just run it through it'll seal itself because it's a small you're force threading it it's PVC It'll once you drive it in there, it there's no problem. So once we got all this set up, you want to back out your screws. You want to take this piece out, which is a little bit of a pain in the ass. Which I might sand these so they not so much of a pain in the ass to come back out. I mean, they'll come out, and I guarantee you, everybody that's done these did this the first time. They're like, what the hell am I doing here? You just got to work it out. Should sand it out, but then you want to pop your diaphragm out. And then, your, remember your, your half-inch piece with your end cap that was cut off and flushed out? Now, how much of a gap yeah. at the top do you leave up there on that on this here? Oh, that really you just you just want a little bit. I don't know what the hell that is. If that's eighth inch, maybe a sixteenth or so. We'll see here on the tape measure. We'll see. That is a eighth inch actually. Eighth inch exactly. Leave eighth inch should be all right. You actually want to take this pipe with that piece on there, and we want to put it in this way. This is how we had to get rid of that lip. That lip on the inside this is the way to get rid of it because we're going to insert the pipe this way back down through. Now this one's a little bit tight. I actually drilled this one out a little bit too big and then I put some epoxy in there and sanded it out again. This is the hardest part is getting this just right so that it will slip through slip through here 
because if you get it too loose, it's going to be a pain in the ass to tune it. And then another good idea is to drill a hole through this piece here. You know, this piece here. Drill a hole all the way through before this pipe is in so that when you tune it, you can set a screw in there and you can actually stop from this pipe in from moving in and out when it's tuned. And then you can run some sealer. A lot of guys run a lot of, uh, some epoxy. They run a super glue at the top once it's tuned. But I think if you run a screw in there, you're gonna be well off because then you can retune this if you want to. Because if once you super glue it or anything, you're done. You know that's it. It's gonna be what it is. So <clears throat> we got that inserted in there, right? So now we'll put the diaphragm back in. It's inserted. We will put the diaphragm back in. And then we will reinsert that piece in there. I mean, that's a screw down. And now I don't have a trumpet tuner, but what happens is you just want the tip of that that coupler to meet that diaphragm. right there you can kind of see that pretty well I, th I think not too bad I mean, it... and this is where you need the trumpet tuner because now this is the part where you need to hook up your airline blow air through it adjust your tube in and out so we're ready for air at this point once they get that yes we're ready for air and you leave that backside open yes this is it this is completely built except you know putting the screws in locking down this back piece this thing all in, putting your PVC funnel on, which you would have to trim, trim your pipe down for your uh, when you're tuning it, because this is actually gonna. Have to so obviously sound. you're gonna start out large, you go back down. Yeah, and you're gonna get down to your right tune, and you're gonna adjust it in and out, and so and then when you get to it, you either put your screw in like my suggestion, or you can glue the top of it like all the other guys do. So, I mean, I guess when you get these things set, they're set, so, but, uh, that's it, and the only, only thing I can think about is, uh, if you build a manifold for these, you can build a manifold actually out of, uh, half inch, or you actually can go up to, like, three quarter inch, two end caps, do the same idea here, you got right here, one in, you know, three out, so you got your air coming in, three of them going out to your uh, your trumpets. You know, you can do five of these. I actually want to do a fucking uh, five horns. I want to do the uh, Nathan uh, K. Oh, what the hell? Do you remember what the hell it is? Couldn't tell you. I know they have five different ones, though. KLH. I can't remember right off the top of my head. I'm sorry, YouTube. I want to do that Nathan train horn. No, I want to do the big one. Once, uh, now, what pressure of air do you run through this? Everybody uses like about one, one twenty to one forty. Okay. And uh, I don't know if these things will handle diaphragms it. Diaphragms will go up to that, handle that all the time. You know, in the cold, probably not. They'll probably start cracking. But I've heard if you use that uh, polycarbonate, like plexiglass, that. They'll do whatever you need, whatever you can pump through it. So that's about it, YouTube. Uh, until next time, I'm gonna do a review on my uh, uh, Eastwood TIG 200 uh, TIG welder. And uh, yeah, show them a spot. I show them the machine right there. I'm gonna do a review on that. I picked that up uh, during the whole move and everything. And uh, <clears throat> I'll show you guys how it runs. I'll throw some uh, welds in there and everything. And uh, otherwise, uh, subscribe, hit like, and uh, till next time.